What's up guys, it's Jason, this is Justin, and welcome back to your four doors of death. And you know what, it's Christmas, fuck it. Oh, I should have said Christmas, fuck it at the same time. Uh, we're going to do um, one of my favorite Christmas movies, man. And I think a lot of people can agree to this, but it is the, uh, what is it, 2015 Krampus um, yes. by Michael, Do Michael Doherty. Michael, Michael Doherty. Michael Doherty. Yeah, you yeah, know. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, who did Trick or Treat. Yeah. Uh, so that's how you may know him. And then he did a bunch of other shit no one cares about. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, what is this movie about, man? It is, um, I would say, it's pretty rad. Because it's, it's a classic Christmas tale, right? Kid has his dysfunctional family over to the house and all this stuff. And, of course, it's, you know, and this, this family is filled with stars, right? Actually, right. real movie stars and all types of good stuff. And, of course, they hate each other. They bully the kid. Uh, make a long story short, he writes a little letter to Santa. They expose him at the dinner table, right? Make fun of him. He writes another one. He's getting ready to write another one. But he's like, you know what? Screw Kramp or screw Christmas. Screw everything. He tears it up. Throws it out the window. And guess what? <laughs> Little you know, that's how you summon Krampus, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes. And uh, Krampus comes down and wreaks havoc with him, his little elves, and uh, his demonic toys. <laughs> and basically, they destroy everybody. Kill, well, I don't say kill everybody. I don't think you're going to die. But they, they take everybody away. And then, shocker, at the end of the day, you find out it's all a dream. It's all a dream. Or baby. is it? And they end up in a little snow globe. And Krampus is a little... Um, Workshop, yeah, I right. guess you want to say. It back on the shelf, all nice. Yeah, so um, that's a quick, really bad synopsis of the movie, but uh, you get it. I'm sure most people have seen this, right? Right, and I would say it's a really good portrayal of what probably the the average family looks like. Very dysfunctional, very, you know. Yeah, and you're all, you know, and you have all types. You know, they're arguing about politics. You don't like guns, sure. boy. Right. You know that type of shit, right? And, and, and you're right. Right. outstanding cast. Everybody from The Office. Yes, all different kinds of backgrounds in this film. For Comedy sure, everywhere. Yeah, so. and really great cast, and. Uh, a really, really stunning looking movie, right? right? So, we got a good four doors of death for this one. You want to kick it off? Let's go. All right, door number one. Door number one. Um, we're going with the cinematography of this movie, along oh. with the atmosphere that uh, our boy Michael Doherty created. Yes. So, I don't care where you are watching this film, you are going to feel ice blistering cold. <laughs> so, he really creates a good atmosphere and ambiance. The cinematography in this film is gorgeous. And our boy Dougie Pipes, yeah. who, Dougie who, Pipes. who scored this film, <laughs> Did a really good job of like breaking down like very orchestral like Christmas time fragments. Yes. And then turn them into this really charming but eerie sound that carries you throughout the film. So all of that, the cinematography, meeting that ambiance. You nailed it, man. Thing. That that the, that winter blizzard blowout that they have, right? Once again, once Krampus comes, it gets. I mean, it gets dark you and the bells ring. Yeah, and the wind blowing. And that's that snowstorm. That blizzard is. It just puts you in a great mood to where it's like it's freaking cold. It's Christmas. Let's kill some people. <laughs> and speaking of killing, door number two. We have our really. I would say our really first for me. Um, uh, fuck around and find out Krampus, okay? And, uh, and the reason I say this Fafo. is... Yeah, <laughs> you're Fafo Krampus. Um, he, well, first off, the look. The look, he's big, he's gigantic. What's the word I'm looking like? Ginormous? Ginormous. Ginormous. Abominable. I mean, abominable, right? <laughs> Huge humpback, giant horns, very goat-like. Um, one, I guess the one thing I did not like, he has a locked jaw. So it's, yeah. it's yeah. constantly open, uh, and he doesn't actually... Um, Never closes that mouth for some reason, so it kind of it makes it look very masky on that side of things. But that's really the the only thing I'm going to bitch about. Yes, he does hop from houses, but that's what's pretty cool. I'm okay and, with it. Yeah, and I like that about this him and his elves, his demonic toys, all that good stuff is um, they all look freaking scary. And the thing I like about Krampus on this as well. You can plead, you can beg, and you know, huh. you know what? I changed my mind. I'll be a good boy. I, I, I love Christmas. I'll believe in Santa. He goes, eat shit, and puts you in the pit of hell anyway, right? Oh, yeah, you descend into the snowbank. You yeah. summon him, he's going to do his freaking job, man. Right. So that's that's what I call, what you say, a faithful Krampus, <laughs> man. All right, door three. Door three, I'm going to take something that you just mentioned in door two. Yeah. Elves. Ooh. So have you ever seen anything like these elves in this film, man? They are so scary, but also so damn funny and cool. They're amazing. So, uh, the Ginger Dead Man, all of those guys as well. The whole cast of characters in this. Yeah. Love them all. Huge fan. Great mix, I want to say, of practical effects and CGI. Which yeah. you guys know, I'm not a big CGI guy, but this one had a little bit of both that went really well, right? They did. And they made the elves 
Um, they made, and I want to say they had the elves have names like they did, like right. Goat Stalker, and Sheep Killer, Sheep like Killer, that. That crazy names, Peeping Tom, all these weird ones, man. Uh, and then of course, don't forget, like I said, the toys, right? I mean, the Jack oh in the God. Box, the the uh, little angel. I want to say little. This thing is the demonic Beast, shit, right? shit, dude. And then you get the little, little cool scenes like the Ginger Dead Men flying in the air and the little cute bulldog just <laughs> scarfing them up. Like, yes. really fun moments in this movie, man. Definitely, man. But they are the stars of the show of the movie for me. I, I agree yeah. on that too. All right, door. Four, you're gonna like it. You're gonna hate it. I don't care. Guess what? This is Michael Doherty's best film. That's right. I said this, right? His best film. Everybody's like, but Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat's good. I like Trick or Treat. This is better. Trick man. or Treat's incredible. Krampus, though, a notch above. I, I agree. And just because of all the four doors or three doors we just said before, prior to this, man, the Krampus is amazing. The atmosphere is amazing. Uh, just the sound. Everything in this movie is just. It flows. It's good. It feels like a damn Christmas horror movie. Man. It does. And not to put a knock on Michael Doerr, either of his films, because they're both outstanding. Yeah. One thing that I think they each do so well is they are both. If when it's Halloween, you're watching Trick or Treat. Yeah. When it's Christmas, you're watching Krampus. Very good. He creates an ambiance, and we're here for it. He's a good guy. Yeah. All right, I give him my, my I give him two thumbs up, man. All right. Awesome. So, yes, yes. Speaking of that, let's give this thing a rating Ooh. real quick. Um, um, let me kick go. I'll kick it off. Cause like I said, I love Christmas horror. I love anything with with blood and snow and just creepy stuff. And I love type of urban legends. So, and this one has everything in this thing. Everything that I wanted. I'm giving this bad boy an eight and a half uh, jingle balls out of ten, <laughs> man. All right, eight and a half, man. That's that's big for me, man. Cause that is. Yeah, I never really on Christmas movies. I never really go above seven. This right. one's one of my top ones, man. Can't disagree with anything you just said. Get right to it. I'm gonna go with seven and a half yellow. I mean, bloody snow banks. <laughs> Out of ten, <laughs> so seven and a half. Michael Doherty's Krampus, huge fans. Yeah, um, definitely huge fan. Don't eat yellow snow. Um, <laughs> yeah. So there you guys go. There's your four doors of death, and we will see you next time.